first grade today for grammar. We are going to continue looking at past and future tense verbs. Remember that most of our past tense verbs are going to end in, end in ed. Something that already happened. <clears throat> most future tense verbs will have the word will before the verb. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to read the sentence. We're going to write a P if the verb is in past tense and an F if it's in future tense. So we have to find the verb. Then we have to put a P if it's past and F if it's future. So let's go ahead and get started. Finn will help me today. Who is the sentence talking about? It's talking about Finn. What about Finn? Finn will help. I want you to underline our verbs. So will help. Is will help past tense or future tense. I heard and saw and underlined the word will, which helps me to know that it is future tense. I need to put a capital F in number one. Number two, we mixed it up. Who is the sentence talking about? We. What did we do? We mixed. That's a verb. Shows action, doesn't it? Mixed. Is that past tense or future tense? Put your letter down. Yes, you should have a P for past tense. It has that ED ending. Three. We baked the cake. Who is the sentence talking about? We. What about we? We baked. That's our verb, baked. I notice it has an ED ending first grade. Does that help us? <clears throat> it should. Hopefully you put a P in for number three. Number four, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put a little snowman. And number five, you're going to put a snowman. Because those two, those two you're going to do yourself. I'll read them. I'll read you the sentences, and you're going to do that. You're going to underline the verb, and you're going to put a P or an F. We will taste the good cake. We will taste the good cake. Underline your verb, and put a P if it's past tense, and an F if it's future. And number five. Pal will eat some. Pal will eat some. Underline your verb and put a P or an F. Now, at the bottom, we have to put commas where they belong. We have to fix the sentence. So, well, let me use a different color for this. Let's use Hmm, this green will work. All right, let's read the sentence. We will wash the pots, pans, and stove. Did you hear a list in there? I did. We will wash the pots, pans, and stove. Pots, pans, stove. Remember that our commas have to go after the first two words in our list when I have three of them. Pots comma, pans, comma, and stove. Okay? Now, it is great that you have those underlined. It's great that you have those commas in there. It's great that I see snowmen and that you underlined what you needed to and put your the correct letter in the spot. Can you please double check that your name is on this paper? And then this grammar worksheet can go into your Thursday folder.